comes back. And Mansell will be somewhere handy. Treble 20, the first port of call. 14s. Gets one at the outer ring, double 11. And he still hasn't missed a dart at double. And that means Mickey Mansell is in big trouble in this match. Broken twice, Luke Woodhouse making a stellar start here. Averaging after three legs more than 115. Mansell yet to throw it a double in this match. He does now at tops. Can't find it and Woodhouse once again looking to carry on this unblemished record on the outer ring. Four from four. But the miss didn't matter and it's 5-0 to Luke Woodhouse who goes into what he hopes will be the final leg of this match averaging 112.16 watch and then shake his hand at the end of it might be the only thing Mickey Mansell can do but there's a chance he gets a leg on the ball And that might be the last start he throws in this tournament. Three years away from the Euro Tour for Mickey Mansell. And then Luke Woodhouse does this to him. Double top to finish a demolition job. And what a performance that is to start off this tournament. Luke Woodhouse producing a personal best average, 109.98 in a 6-0 whitewash win against Mickey Mansell, who is just like a rabbit in the headlights. Woodhouse producing stunning stuff, the best we've ever seen from him. A puff of the cheeks, he was just in the zone. On the ladder, I suggest you hit this, Luke. Don't miss the big number. As we call it. He's already had a couple of Rod Harringtonisms in the first couple of matches. Well, this is the little brother of the 138. Good guide. Can he guide it in? He can. And Penhole races into a 5 0 lead after that unforgivable big miss on the big number from Luke Peters. And I know you. Looks like the sort of older brother of Luke Woodhouse. Well, just like Luke Woodhouse, he's on course here to smash his PB. Brilliant. Double 12, he's been here before. He can't find it just yet. He will get more opportunities. He can't get much closer to a victory by six legs to nil. 74. But let's face facts. This should be hit for a first one in the Euro Tour. That's probably his worst shot of double 12 of the threes had. But that'll do. Yeah, brilliant stuff from Darren Penhall, who wins 6 0. The second whitewash win in as many matches so far today. Doesn't quite beat the personal best, but he gets his second highest ever average, just over a ton 100.2 for Darren Penhall, who sends Peters packing and books his place in the second round to take on Luke Humphreys, a winner on the Euro Tour so far but that Luke is not a happy chapper he ho heads home to the Netherlands without winning a leg Darren let's hear from Penhall Penn now big ahead tournaments of the European Tour it's only been won by great players yeah it really has looking through the list of winners this morning I'll run you through those at the end of this leg because oh, he is a who's who of greats that is a great call from Lukman there because he really wanted to leave 32 but he didn't want to run the risk of hitting the flight mm -hmm. that's just good game management 140 well, I think you require four. he lost four in a row to get three in a row himself we've got a very different game all of a sudden because it's now back on throw Last three legs, seven. Little hint of a smile there from the crowd. 
not from the person who we grabbed a couple of shots ago because he looked like Napoleon Dynamite. But this has been really good from Dennis Nielsen. When his opponent got close, he pushed forward. Well, this could be some save. This would be as good as that Zoran Lurch back at 167 from last week. And he went oh for three my. balls! Oh, Martin Lutman. 65. Good lad. Mad lad. But good lad. And then maybe the last darts he throws. Three balls for a 150. Whether he'd gone for the other two, I don't know. Game but it does not matter because Dennis Nielsen Dennis. closes it out by six legs to three after two 6-0 whitewashes to start the European Darts Open. It looked like we had a really close one there. There were two missed darts from Nielsen for 5-0. There was a missed dart for four all though from Martin Lukeman. And then the Swede booked his passage through to face Jose de Souza. But it's the one that you had heard of really that has done that yeah very much an unknown quantity Josh Rock before he turned up and he is very rapidly making himself known because despite the slow start the average is now up into the low 90s and that's with eight missed darts at double 18 he really does attack those doubles doesn't he he doesn't seem to care if he misses inside. He goes for it, gives it a chance. There's none of this sort of safe professional missing. On the you don't or aren't able to do it in empty rooms. It is a necessary, if not a sufficient condition for success. And Josh Rock looks like he's got all the ingredients for success in any kind of darts. Or does to me at any rate. Joshua requires 65. It's to win 6-0. And it is a fantastic display from Josh Rock. As Dan was just saying, barring that opening leg when he missed six starts at double, he's gone 14, 18, 11, and then two more 14s. An average in the end of over 98, a 6 0 whitewash. Well, they're in the mood. He's in the mood for this. Well, he was. Gavlas will really feel he needs to. Just 82. Halt the charge of Williams a little here. 17. No better way to do it than a tum topping out. 17. Double top. And he He's announces himself into leg. the game. 1 1. The leg got to throw first. I just love the back of his shirt, you know. We were sitting a bit earlier this season. One tops tops here, not in my opinion. So what does he do? Could be double double inadvertently. Enemy require 170. Well, you don't want to be stuck on double five. That's another thing as well. Oh, that's right in the top corner. Lots of bed to aim at. Plenty of bullseye left. Ooh. Oh, Scott oh, Williams couldn't oh, breathe. Scotty require Well, he is stuck on double five, but he's splitting it to leave double four. Which he hit. Play, Scott and now he can breathe a sigh of relief. Williams play, back um, into the contest after an almighty Game scare on. when Gavlas took aim with that bullseye for the big fish to take control of the contest. Well, this visit is going badly so far for Adam. 31. It did not go well at all. So he might even get six from here. Might only need the three. Top bin. Top's not in. 15 darts, as we said. We'll see Gavlas over the line. He can still get one. With the treble 20. But now the chance has gone, so Williams returns. Looking for his best leg of the match to break. A timely moment. And that is the moment where the initiative shifted. Williams becomes favourite for the match. He has the darts in two of the last three legs. Best of three legs from here. Showing a little no bit of flexibility there. I think those pants may be Game stretchy. He's 2020 20 ball. So to break back. That is a bit of misfortune for Williams. Would have been on a two darts. Well, 
could argue he is, but he's not going to go treble 20 bull. He's gone the 25 route, but how much of the bull can he see? How much of that bullseye can Adam Gavlas see? Is it enough? Oh, it is enough. I don't get the route, but it worked. Sitting in a commentary booth, he's out there under pressure. Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> it's got to require 80. Well, we think it'll be tops, tops. It's over the top. Should have listened to Paul Nicholson. That's why you shouldn't do it. That could really costly. If Gavlas hits this, he's going to explode. Eighty-four remaining. Williams will come back. Eighty-seven. It's going to require forty. He rode his luck, but he finds a double top to win the match, and what a match it was! Sensational stuff between Scott Williams and Adam Gavlas. It twisted and turned all the way through. So you have to understand how your daughters behave, and with Keane. They go in quite direct, so maybe a right. It is difficult to set a look. As great as the camera angles we are have here are, it is difficult to get the player's eye view and know exactly how wise a decision it was to move or step. Oh, this is the hard way for a one-three-three. Double eight. Oh, that's glorious. And what I mean by the hard way is because if you get the treble 19 first, you've got the option of double double. But that way, you don't. He didn't need. Might be changing, you know. Got to dodge bullet two. That bullet is still in the air. So Keane's now got to find a shot that he missed earlier with enormous pressure on it. Oh no, 56. it's happened too often and match darts incoming for Christoph Kachuk. Double 12. Eight. And a 6-3 win as the thumb goes right where Keith Barry did not want it to go. That's through to round two to meet Ryan Searle. Six seed is indeed oh, Ryan Searle who will take on Christopher Chuck, who just thought beat Keen Barry in the previous match. Ooh, that's good. Oh, oh 124. Well, even staying straight there and leaving 21. hitting a 20 would leave 1 2 1, which is a little bit easier than the 1 3 6. Gives you more options. I think you've got to go for it. Andrew, and we're going to have to go through the whole process again, yeah, the walk, the stop, the turn, and this is why he does it, this is why he does it, well he certainly needed that, something just to get him going again, because as you mentioned earlier, the first leg was fine until the end of it when he missed all those darts at double half. I actually think Lucas Feining over the last couple of years has improved markedly. He looks like a, he could be a, a really good prospect for German hey, dance. Not, hey. When he sees some of the averages he's posted, and they're all, all his best averages have come in the last couple of years. We've had him go over the 100 mark three times, including a, 108 he chucked in in a, a challenge tour quarterfinal. 140. We've seen him semi-regularly into the high 90s but we just haven't seen him do it on the european tour yet so there's still work to do oh, for lucas vaney to start doing it do on a regular basis 80. this could put the match almost beyond him it started with disaster on double 10 but he's yeah, sharpened up the there he's sharpened up everywhere yeah. martin schindler arguably germany's best player right now it might not be the last leg, but I'm not going to say it again. 
134. Do tune in tonight. Big Jury Choir 102. The more top tungsten tossing on the European Tour. Beinig wants double 16. Gets yeah. double 16. Yeah. He's still fighting, he's still scrapping. Well, when the last four legs have been one in five visits to the board by your opponent, you kind of know what you're going to have to do on your own throw. So Lucas Vainig did it, got himself... That's written down, doesn't mean you <laughs> to share it with everybody. That, that is a quality gilding fact, and I will not be... <laughs> I will not be turned away hey, from sharing shit. it. He's going to trouser a few more pounds here because he does come back to the hockey, needing 76. Oh, and you require and it 76. Like Zanig's race is run. Double four. And Gilding is the gaffer. He was rubbish for a couple of legs and then absolutely brilliant for the rest of it. A 6-3 victory for Goldfinger and he sets up a second round tie with a history maker, Brendan Dolan.